the name of his speech is A Unique New Program for Home Buyers. Please welcome Chris Chris. supplement his income. He had a very high income in his previous position, but the, the other job that he could get between him and his wife to help hopefully save their home uh, was barely enough. They hung on for a number of years to try to save their house and, and maintain their bills and, and really live up to their obligations that they, that they signed to. And they went through that for a number of years and then finally uh, their house went to foreclosure uh, about six months ago. These are personal friends of mine, and I, they are truly belong as homeowners. This is something that you know they saved their money for, had great credit, and it's just an unfortunate uh, situation in our economy that led them to them being foreclosed. So this really wasn't about them overextending themselves or getting involved in a loan product that they weren't uh, aware of what the uh, the implications could be. So in in wanting to help them. Um, I have found a uh, private equity firm that does have a home program that actually it's a lease to own program for home buyers. So the, home, the uh, private equity firm actually makes the purchase for the buyers uh, on their behalf and they have six years to complete the purchase from the private equity firm. So at, at a um, uh, predetermined uh, purchase price. So if we have a, let's say if we had a $100,000 purchase price for the home, the uh, buyers are required to either get a 5, a 10, or a 15% deposit, and there are lease payments. And the lease payments for the property would be very similar to what you would find if someone were to make a purchase today using typically like FHA financing, which would be the principal and interest, uh, taxes, insurance, mortgage insurance, a joy use, if those apply. So the lease payments are very similar to that. So if we had a $100,000 purchase price, if the person had put a 10% deposit, there's a 3% transaction fee. So in total, they need to bring at closing $13,000, or I'm sorry, 13, yeah, 13,000 in this particular case. So, so there's a total of the 10% plus the 3% transaction fee. The transaction fee goes to cover the closing costs. The closing costs are paid for by <coughs> the uh, private equity firm, so they handle all of that. The moment that escrow closes, another escrow is opened up concurrently right there with a six-year window to make that purchase. And with that 10% deposit program, the after the first year, they could purchase that property for 3.5% above that number. If we use $100,000, it would be 103500 Every year after that, the purchase price increases by 2% of the sales price. So it just goes up. The lease payments also go up by a couple of percent each year. So as a loan officer and being approved with this private equity firm, what they look for from us is to pre-qualify the client to make sure that we have an exit strategy for them. If they've had a foreclosure, short sale, bankruptcy, there are certain time frames uh, that are required uh, for to be able to finance a home, and we need to know within that six year window that they have the ability to make that purchase. The uh, private equity firm is not looking to just forever lease out this property, but they want them to complete that purchase, so they're not looking to do that. If the value of the property, let's just say, goes from 100 to $150,000, other than they, and let's just say it went from 100 to 150 after the first year, all the private equity firm wants is their 103, 500. That's all they want. So the people don't actually actually have to complete the purchase from the, uh, private equity firm, they can just sell it, they can sell their interest right away. So the, it's a really great uh, program for somebody who would be, uh, uh, who is in a similar situation. So the, what the requirements are, you need to have a very good income. This is not a program for somebody who may have
have fallen out of escrow, FHA, just somebody with a good income and have the ability to put the deposit. Now the, the types of deposits, the five, the 10, the 15, determines the uh, amount of the appreciation. Probably the best way, if you have somebody with a two year window, is the 15% deposit. The, there's a 5% transaction fee. And then after the first year, the appreciation is only, is only one and a half percent. But on year two, there's no appreciation whatsoever. So somebody two years later, if they could get out of it and have a 15% deposit to initially put on the property, then they can just buy that technically for six and a half percent more. And in an appreciating market, and that seems to be a good deal. People can secure the property they want now. Now there is no mortgage interest deduction for either side because the private equity firm completes the purchase in cash. So nobody gets a mortgage interest deduction, but it does give you the ability to uh, secure a property and, and also it proves to the lender when you go to complete that purchase, another lender, that they don't actually make loans themselves so they stay out of that part of it, that it proves that you have the ability because you've been making most of these payments on time. <coughs> well, after that six year window, there's a couple things that can happen. So you have any time in that six years you can make complete that purchase. If you choose not to complete the purchase and walk away, there's a 3% liquidated damages. So out of that deposit of five, 10 or 15%, they will retain 3%. Uh, or at the end of that six year window, let's say that $100,000 house is only worth 50,000. At that point, they will make a business decision whether to complete the sale to you at that at the current appraised value, or if they decide to just you know have your option expire, you lose your 3% and then they take their chances either leasing it out or putting the property back on the market. But in most cases, if it's a reasonable amount close to what they owe, they're probably gonna stay uh, and complete the purchase because they know if they have to put the property on the market, it's gonna cost them about 6% or more in closing costs. So it's probably better to complete the original purchase. So in this particular program for this client, um, John has now got a great job. He's back with, a, with another IT company uh, back on their feet on a salary position. He has the income. Their family is giving them the funds for the deposit. What's great about this is when you have the, the gift funds as a deposit in lending, we need those funds to be seasoned. And while they're sitting there in an escrow account, that's where they sit, those funds become seasoned and become their funds. So it's a, uh, it's a really great program. And uh, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer those for anybody. Thank you very much.